Hey, good day, every pony. This is We Are Borg with Ponyville Live here at Everfree Northwest uh, 2014 uh, here in Seattle. And I'm with Tony Fleece. Uh, how has the con been so far with you? Oh, it's excellent. Uh, it's day two, so I would say it's about a third of the way through day two, although I don't know what time the thing closes, so it could be like a quarter of the way through. I have no idea. I didn't even know I was coming up here. You're you're this is usually off the cuff. I'm usually stuck in the vendor hall, right? You yeah. got a vendor table. I just sit down there. I draw pictures. Uh, I sell people things, and, uh, and that's been going nice. I gotta say, pony folks are uh, are good folks when it comes to buying things. Uh, have you seen this this particular artist running around putting sticky notes everywhere? Oh. Who is Sticky Note Pony? Um, He's running around putting some some right. just little I'm ponies. Check out hashtag Post It Pony. Post It Pony. That's so, a tell me, you what got you into art? Has it been a childhood thing? You know, you syndicate the podcast. That guy just asked the same question. <laughs> your, your viewers, are my viewers are going to hate me. This answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a child, I uh, would uh, <laughs> watch cartoons and draw cartoons off the TV with my cousin Marty. Uh, and he was an excellent artist, and it seemed like that was a cool way to spend your time, you know. Like, and I, I, I took to it, you know. Like, I was good at drawing, uh, sort of naturally. Um, some would say that I'm still not good at drawing yet, but at like at a young age, I was better than the other kids at school, you know. You know how that is. Like, there's a kid in school who can draw, and I was that kid, and I just sort of kept drawing, you know, like. Usually people say, like, I want to be a comic book artist, and I want to be an astronaut and a fireman, and then eventually they go to school, and they're like, well, you should probably just get a job at, like, a bank or something so you can buy a house and have health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> and so everybody else just goes and gets a job at a bank, and I was just like, yeah, I'm going to draw comics. And uh, so then I eventually I went to art school, and then I made a comic book uh, that was about me. It was like a independent autobiographical book. Uh, and then from there I sort of got enough notice that I was in comics. Like, you know, once you make a comic, you're in comics. And mm -hmm. then I started to sort of kick around and get small jobs here and there. And then eventually, like five or six years later, I got My Little Pony. And that was sort of like jumping from a very small book that nobody knows about to like a huge book that tons of people knows about and has its own like dedicated fan base before it even came out. So definitely an interesting change of perspective. Absolutely. Can you remind uh, our audience what uh, MLP comic books you have drawn? Yeah, I did. Uh, I started out in covers, and I did covers for like the first eleven or twelve issues in a row. Sometimes I would do like uh, five covers for an issue. Sometimes I would just do one cover. I did the cover that that kid's wearing on his T-shirt with Doctor Who <laughs> yeah. Derpy. Uh, I think that's a Hot Topic exclusive. That is a Hot Topic exclusive. They exclusively put it on everything. It's on yeah. <laughs> posters. <laughs> they don't send me a check every time. It's crazy. Um, but then I did uh, micro series number two with Rainbow Dash, and I did the micro series issue with Fluttershy, and I did the annual with the Equestria Girls, and then I did Friends Forever issue number two with the Cutie Mark Crusaders and Discord, and number five was Akora and Fluttershy again. And next, in the next couple of weeks, number seven comes out, and that's with Pinkie Pie and Princess Luna. And then I'm working right now on issue nine with Granny and the Flim Flam Brothers. And then after that, I'm working on something else. And then presumably after that, I'll work on something else. So working on, uh, working on comic books, that kind of gives you, uh, do you think that gives you a more creative uh, style, a more uh, ability to kind of like change things up every now and then kind of stretch the limits of like a, maybe a set artistic style for a comic book for ponies you for mean? ponies yeah definitely uh when i first started uh working on the pony stuff i was aiming to do i like i thought what the fans were looking for was exactly what the tv show did mm -hmm. and so i was trying really hard to draw like the tv show and I think that sort of uh, limited what I could do. Like, my first couple issues are a little stiff, and I feel like as soon as I realized, like, oh, I should just draw like me and do the ponies like I would do them, and as soon as I started doing that, it sort of, like, my work got a lot better. And so um, I, and I think my favorite pony artists in the comics are the people that do, like, their own thing the most. You know, like, I like the, this guy Ben Bates that did the Cutie Mark Crusaders micro-series issue. He just does, like, crazy 
wacky. He looks like fully digital art, but it's like a lot of fun. He's doing the Power Ponies annual right now. And I like Amy Mepperson, who does like a cute sort of like almost Walt Disney style pony. So I, I definitely think, I don't think we're supposed to be, you know, like they're not like this guy will draw however he wants. Let's hire him. But there's sort of like a little bit of leeway that you can play in. And uh, I think the more you're doing your own thing, the better the, the better the ponies come out. Um, if, if you had to choose one of your, your works, what, um, um, uh, actually I think we're out of time. Um, well, we could do this. Let's do one last question. One last question. Yeah. One last question. All right. What, what would be your favorite, what would be your favorite comic uh, that you've drawn? The Just best, the, the one, best one that I've done so far is, uh, friends forever. Number two with discord and the cutie Mark crusaders. Like it's the Excellent. most fun. There's all kinds of crazy scenarios and, and like different cool references, and uh, I think it came out really good. So, but cool. uh, art wise, my best one's always like the next one to come out. So, like the Granny and Flim Flam issue is going to be like the best one I've ever drawn. So, be excellent. Look out for that. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much. This is Tony Fleece. I'm We Are Board with Ponyville Live. I'll see you next time.